Hello everyone, welcome to Feathercast, the voice of the Apache Software Foundation. I'm Swapnilam Mane and today I'm having our very special guest, our very own Sharon Foga. Sharon is a board member of Apache Software Foundation and also the vice president of Apache Keeble Project. She has been involved in numerous Apache projects. Uh, welcome Sharon, great to have you with us. Oh, it's nice to see you, nice to be with you Swapnilam. Great, thank you so much. So today we'll discuss on the community tracks of ApacheCon. ApacheCon is the official global conference series of Apache Software Foundation. And Sharon is the uh, community uh, track chair for ApacheCon. So uh, Sharon, uh, you have a phenomenal journey at Apache Software Foundation. And I would like to start with uh, your journey how, uh, uh, in the Apache Software Foundation. Oh, okay. So, um... My journey with Apache started, oh, seems like a long time ago now. Um, I think it was 2008, um, where I uh, started contributing to one of the projects there, Apache OF Biz. I think you're familiar with that, uh, Swap Mail. Um, and uh, essentially, I was looking at uh, just understanding and, and um, being a part of uh, open source. And I didn't want to just focus on the sort of the development. So I wanted to look for tasks that I could help out with. So I started doing uh, tests and documentation and, and things like this. Um, and we find now um, in open source that a lot of people are looking for the sort of non-coding contribution. So that was sort of my focus really. So um, yeah, so I helped at, at the time. Um, um, and then I learned a bit more about the foundation and actually started becoming more and more involved with community development and not only OFBiz, but all the other projects as well. Um, and so that was my, I suppose, a, a crucial point for me in, in seeing that, you know, community development isn't only restricted to, say, one project or two projects, it's across the whole foundation. And so um, I, I started working on community development and um, eventually I, I was elected uh, the, the VP um, in 2017 um, and I had a really great uh, journey there in working with the, the community development team uh, to participate uh, at events, to help with putting together new sort of strategies and guidelines and tools to help all our Apache communities. Um, and now, uh, as you mentioned, sort of this year, I um, uh, was elected to the board of directors. So it's a, a new journey for me as well, first time. And uh, so I've uh, sort of stepped down from uh, the VP of, of community development, but I'm still involved in community development. So, and, and you, uh, Swapneel, have taken over that role. So congratulations on that. So, <laughs> so a little bit about it. Yeah. Thanks so much, Sharon. It's, it's really a phenomenal journey. And, and the great part is the most of the contribution uh, in Apache Software Foundation, uh, mm. people think that it is only related to the code. But uh, as you mentioned, uh, coming from a non-coding type of contribution background and then uh, making the progress there, it's it's really, you said, a great example that there are various ways in which one can contribute to the Apache Software Foundation. So that's, that's really uh, good to hear. And uh, and uh, uh, and definitely, yeah, so you have, uh, you are our previous vice president for the community development and, and some of the phenomenal initiative uh, done yeah, uh, under your guidance as well. So I would like to start with uh, uh, <laughs> one of the uh, <laughs> saying at Apache is it is community over code. So I would like to know your thoughts about what exactly it is and uh, uh, what somebody who is very new to Apache, what they can take from this statement. Mm -hmm. So community over code, like you say, is, is, is like a mantra. You hear it a lot in Apache. So what does it mean? I mean, to me, it means that, you know, the, compu the community is more important than um, you know, writing code. Um, and it seems really strange because Apache, all Apache projects are, 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 are code. Well, maybe community development is more of a, a special focus, but um, most Apache projects are about um, creating code and doing releases. So you think, well, actually, hold on, shouldn't we be focusing on the code? But then, no, we have, when we have another view here in saying that, you know, if you've got a community, a sustainable community, an open community that is that cares about the project and the code, um, they will resolve any problem. So it's more about the collaboration and how you work together. 
And then if you work together in an open, transparent way, then the code will be good as well. I mean, you can have, you know, it will it, resolve itself. And especially if you can, you have the, 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 the uh, especially if you have the way in being able to raise points and not be afraid to, to, to discuss or have a robust discussion. Um, and, and that is part of the, the sustainability for the, for the community. Because if, if you think about it, um, the people that were working on, say, I don't know, the first project in Apache, the, the, the web server, the people that were working on the web server all those years ago are probably not the same people that are working on the, on the web server today. And, 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 and so what you're looking at is creating a community that endures, can make, bringing in, having a, an environment where you can bring in new people and community that having that community of a code focus tells people or tells you know anybody come you know wanting to, to be interested in, in coming to apache that you know hey we care about you we care about how you interact we care about your contribution you don't have to be the best programmer you don't have to be the best tester you don't have to be the best whatever whatever you can contribute matters and and, and we, we would like to you know help you uh, grow and help and, and your skills can help us in this in this in our journey as a project so uh, that's what community over code means to me mm. <laughs> all right that, that, that's really a great explanation so uh, so basically uh, uh, we can say the community is the soul of Apache Software Foundation and our every initiative is uh, uh, is taken by the community in the center and as you as you rightly mentioned that uh, uh, we the the life of the software one of the important uh, life cycle a uh, part of the software is the maintenance and and as we grow uh, definitely the new member will join and it's not necessary that the initial members who build that project uh, or will be working on that so we, we need community to flourish the project and and we can clearly see uh, a lot of uh, uh, good community activities are going in the uh, apache software foundation and Having a particularly dedicated track uh, of the community at ApacheCon is, is really an uh, 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 important initiative. And uh, so uh, what, what I can say is, in, uh, uh, so can we say it's not only related to Apache Software Foundation? In, in, in every terms where the open source collaboration is going, community is the most important factor? Um, I think you can. I think there's a lot of, um, a lot of places, oh, okay. I I think my most of my open source experience has been at Apache, so this is where I get I, I get a lot of my um, my, uh, my um, information. Um, I think also as well a lot of open source foundations, a lot of even businesses are, are using the same principles. Um, so you're right in saying that it's not only about Apache, it's not only about open source, because a lot of these the ways of working can be. Uh, uh, used in other environments and I think there's a, a big interest um, in, in, in businesses especially ones that are um, interacting with open source projects to understand this way of working because it is slightly different from the normal sort of corporate way you know you sort of have you do this so, do this. so, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a journey and it's a learning um, but yeah I think it's, it's, it's a, a collaborative way of working that if you know that could be applied to to all, almost anything great definitely so uh now as a next topic uh, uh as as you are the community track uh, uh you, you are managing the community track for the uh, apache con so i would like to know a more story about the behind the scene means how you uh, how the team actually uh, select the tracks and and the number of tracks we are having uh, for our audience this year in terms of a uh, community. Yeah. So the community track has been like a, 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 a regular feature at ApacheCon. I mean, it's, it's, it's there because people want to share their learnings about what they've done. And it's a cross project track. So it's not only um, the people that are, you know, say active on the community development list. We, we're look, looking for stories from all the projects. We're looking for um, different areas. Um, and we usually have a, a, an Apache way sort of section. So, you know, we talk about some of the common things 
that um, that cross the project. So the Apache way, um, we usually have something also around branding because this is also quite gen generic for across the projects. They need to manage their brands. Um, understanding things like the open source licensing um, because you know the projects all, you know we have the Apache license but there are other open source licenses out there as well you know if you're using um, uh, modules from other areas you know how does that work um, and, and and one of the things that we wanted to do uh, as well because uh, community, community development I'm, I'm, I know it's not really officially a, a coding project but we have created um, tools over the years that help um, the, the, the projects and the community. And I think it's also interesting to showcase some of the tools that have been created because maybe not all the projects know about them. Um, and, 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 you know, you mentioned like, you know, a kibble and, and, and whatever. We, but we have quite a range of other tools that are available to, to, to the communities. Um, and and the, the way that we, we, we generally work for uh, the community track is that we the, the CFP you know opens and we try and encourage people to submit um, a range of topics. So if you have anything that you want to share, you know how has your project um, so, uh, overcome a problem? What have you learned from being in open source? You know, um, have you have have you overcome a challenge? Um, all these things. What have you done that you know you can you, you that you can you can share with the rest of the the community um, and so we, we we want this type of information um, and normally what happens is people submit all these talks um, and and we we um, ask for volunteers to help us rate them um, normally we have quite a, a, a big submission rate because uh, people or people are already keen to share and so we uh, normally call for a few volunteers from the community uh, development list you know for anybody that's there and they can come and help rate the the talks so um, I've been, I think, the track chair for a few years now. I think before, I think Rich Bowen might have been it before me. Um, and, and, and that really helps because that actually shares the load, uh, especially if you've got a lot of submissions. Um, so we rate the, the talks and we sort of rank them. Um, and we also look at trying to have a bit of a balance across the topics. So, um, you know, it's like I say, we, we try and have some sort of governance style um, topics we have some community style topics and we have um, you know so sort of you know learnings and whatever and this year it's been really really good because we have a, a really good range of community health topics and it's something that's really quite close to my heart so I'm really really happy to see um, the community track for, for Apache Comp. Right, great, and 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 definitely means uh, various community, uh, particularly in the open source, they really don't know how to measure their community. So definitely having a wide range of tracks uh, mm. for this particular topic is really, uh, uh, really will be a really valuable uh, information for our audience. So uh, you mentioned a really important term here, the Apache way. So, uh, so can we say, uh, means, uh, as far as I remember, in almost every Apache Con, we have one track uh, or one session related to Apache Way. Yes. So, uh, yes, so, yeah, 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 please, uh, you're saying something. Yes, so we, yeah, we do have, we, we always have a, a talk around the Apache Way. Um, and I think we always try and uh, see whether or not we can get like a, a, a different spin or different interpretation because the Apache way means different things to different people um, and, and, and we can talk about what it is um, and we can talk about how it's used um, and we can and we can talk about how it's used in the projects and we can also talk about how it's used for people that are interacting with business. Um, this year we've got a, a talk on the Apache way about the how and the why. So why are we using the, the Apache way? Not only how we're using it, but how, why we're using it. So I thought this is a different spin rather than saying, hey, this is the Apache way. This is what it is. This is what you do. Let's try something a bit different. Um, we have uh, 16 talks in, 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 the, in the community track. Uh, this year so it's when we've got like three days um, worth of content and I say that the main topics the theme areas are um, like governance with the Apache way branding etc um, and also as well uh, the, the Apache local community this is, this is also something nice that we, we've got that was established uh, not so not, oh, is it just over a year ago or something like this so the 
Yeah, yeah, that's been that's going from strength to strength. Nice one. <laughs> that's that's another one of from uh, an idea from you, Swap Neil. Um, so great to see that that come uh, getting an update on that. Um, and we have the the, the community health um, topics as well. So it's it, I think it's really really exciting. Some really interesting talks here. Mm, great. So definitely, there is a lot of good uh, tracks you mentioned for for this ApacheCon. Uh, community tracks so that that's really uh great to hear so now uh i i i, I from the our uh, uh website i saw we are also having a trial a track on uh, community health reporting 101 <laughs> by kevin Kula. so <laughs> that really uh that's really a great topic because uh, as i mentioned uh People really, uh, the community are really uh, don't find a, a way how they can measure their community success and how their community is growing and what's the current health. So I would uh, love to know what you are going to cover in, in this particular topic. Okay, so like like you say, and um, you know, community health. What is that? You know, is it about the number of commits? And and and, and sometimes people think, right, you know, if we're really active and we commit a lot of code. It means that we're healthy because we're doing something. Yeah. And and I think community health reporting is about activity, but it's not only about commit activity. Um, and, in, and, in, and in Apache, mm. we have um, a lot of ways in which people can contribute. So it's important to understand those different right. ways. Um, you know, so it's not only about the numbers, it's all, also around one example that, that was given to me, and I, so I won't take this from... Uh, you know, I think uh, Brian Prophet, who's uh, on uh, in uh, yeah. um, uh, community Comdev uh, PMC now, um, a few years ago, he said, you know, hey, you know, if you look at the numbers, if you have a, a, a lot of interaction on the mailing list, normally you would think, hey, this is a great thing. This is a great thing. You know, we've got lots of activity on the mailing list. The people in community is engaged. But if that activity is triggered because the community is responding to a troll then that is not a good thing so on one yeah. hand you see a number you see a, you, hey we've got lots of activity but you if you don't mm -hmm. dig and find out what's the cause of that activity then right. you're not you 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 assume that it's good and and that is a a, a little indication around the health so mm -hmm. be aware of what is happening in, in, in the community. Um, it's not just a number. It's about understanding how people are interacting. Um, I think also as well, um, we have really uh, tried hard to um, right. find ways to capture the non-coding contribution. Um, if, you're, if, you, right. if you commit something, commit code, then there's a record. If you, if you respond on a mailing list as well, because right. we are Apache, we use the mailing list as a, a source of truth as well. Um, there's a record. Um, if, you're do, if you comment on an issue, if you help test, if you do things like this, there's a little, there's a record. So why not also look at those details and, and see what, what is happening? I mean, we have um, uh, the, a, a tool, one of the, mm -hmm. the ComDev tools, reported.apache.org. Uh, where um, a lot mm. of the projects use this to help with their regular reporting. So mm. all the Apache, Apache projects have to report on a quarterly basis uh, to the board about you know what they're doing, mm. how, what the releases they've made, and also as well their community health. Um, and, and within those tools, there are some numbers, you know, and these numbers range from you know uh, mm -hmm. super super healthy, which so I think it's like ten to minus ten, uh, yeah. to action. Uh, 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 urgent and if you look at some of the things mm -hmm. that uh, that trigger these these mess these these, these ratings it's to do with whether they've done a release um mm -hmm. if they've had an, any new committers if they've had uh, any new pmc members and that's quite a limited um metric for mm -hmm. saying you know are you healthy um yeah. now we have tried to integrate uh kibble which we'll maybe talk about in a minute um mm -hmm. into the, the reporter tool to give you a bit more um uh information about what is mm -hmm. happening and one of the key things that 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 um we you can see uh in in in, in um uh, say kibble or, or or in or in these metrics is is being able mm -hmm. to understand you know are there people that are active in one area, say on the mailing list, but not on the 
on on the code repository and mm. these are people that respond to uh issues respond to questions from 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 uh, newcomers or existing people um and that is not a code contribution but it is a valuable contribution so being able right. to understand hey yes we have people that are happy to share their knowledge as well as people who are happy to commit code so it's it's, it's not an easy answer but there's mm -hmm. a lot of um a lot of elements that you need to come together and the best people to understand the community are the community themselves you know what right. is hap happening in your community and um, and being able to you know say you know hey uh, we've uh, we've had some problems this this month because um you know uh we we had most of the community had some other commitments outside of you know some personal mm -hmm. commitments so we couldn't do as much activity as we wanted to do and that's fine you know right. Um, and, and, and that's not saying, hey, the, the community has been abandoned or anything like that. It's just life happens and you need to be right. flexible with that. So, yeah, the, understanding what's happening in your community and being able to interpret the, the, the signs of, of, of what's happening. Great. That, that's really great insight. <laughs> and, and definitely, uh, as, you, as you mentioned, uh, uh, it's not only related to code, because if, if you see the commit activity, uh, only this particular factor is is definitely uh, cannot give you the whole picture how your exactly. community is yeah. is behaving. And uh, as you mentioned uh, uh, about the tool Apache Keeper, and <laughs> and you're also the vice president of this uh, uh, Apache project. So uh, yeah. we'd like to know more about what is this project and uh, and how uh, this work to give the community metrics. Okay, so I've only been the, the VP uh, fairly recently, but I've been involved in the project uh, for. Um, since it uh, since it became a top level project actually um, mm -hmm. because um, I'm interested in in community metrics so kibble is a tool that actually uh, collects uh, data uh, it aggregates data and mm -hmm. it sort of visualizes the data and the data it collects is around the activity on on, mm -hmm. on projects and mm -hmm. we have got it set up in our demo uh, to pull uh, and create data for every Apache project. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, there's a lot of projects that don't realize that their data is there. Um, and so this is also one of the things that I want to highlight in my, in my talk is that, you know, any Apache project can go to the, the, the Kibble demo and find mm -hmm. out what is happening in their project. Um, and, and some of the data that... Uh, that Kibble collects is a is a bit different from the you know the the, the, the initial metrics I mentioned you know the the, ma the mailing list and the commit and mm -hmm. and all, all this stuff. Um, so we can track things like you know when you have a new contributor. So if you've got an if you check the metrics, you can say okay, well in over this time period we got this new contributor, and and some projects want to uh, recognize a first contribution. So, you know, how, that is a way to be able to find that information. Hey, we've had five new contributors that are new to the project. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can help support them. Maybe you can ask them if they need any mentoring, ask them if mm -hmm. they need any additional details and celebrate when they make their first contribution. Um, we can also uh, do some uh, analysis on the mailing list around the moods mm -hmm. to see, you know, are, 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 thing, are, are things generally okay or is there any tension happening in the community so you can mm -hmm. actually see and track uh, some of the the moods of the of, of the community and we have mm -hmm. uh, uh, some comparisons uh, within you know this project versus you know the rest of the uh, of apache so we have mm -hmm. this as well um we also have a, a key metric that i think is is quite interesting is one uh, mm -hmm. around the sustainability and the longevity of a project where we, we can show um, the, how long people have been within a community. So we have contributors that, you know, like under a year, two to, two to five years, over five years. Mm -hmm. And if you look at, try and sort of visualize that, um, what you want is a, 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 um, a regular flow of people coming in. And it's okay mm -hmm. if people want to leave the project. Um, mm -hmm. Because, you know, life changes and people, right. you know, think people move on and, and have other interests. So you, right. you, you have a flow into projects, you have a flow out of projects. Um, mm -hmm. If you have only a flow out but no in, 
then it's a sign that you know from a sustainability uh, perspective your project right. might need some help um, and if you can highlight and understand these signs early then you can you know go on a, a drive to sort of you know attract new uh, contributors right. and these are some of the things that you you can you can find out uh mm -hmm. with with kibble um one an, another metric that we we got, got there i know i talk about you know don't have to rely on a number but one thing mm -hmm. is an indicator that that can help mm -hmm. that can help um is called uh pony factor mm -hmm. and some people call this the bus factor um and mm -hmm. this calculation is saying you know if you is the project only focused around a core group um and if it is it you know two people three people five people ten people and what mm -hmm. happens if those two three five ten people disappear will right. the project collapse or will it continue and so one of the things that we we try and um encourage is that you try and uh make sure that the, the this pony factor is is high you're trying to gather a lot of people to be mm -hmm. the, the core contributors so you you want more and more a, a bigger and bigger uh group um and 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 this sort of metric can help you and see whether or not you know you need to spend some time in mm -hmm. um attracting um and promoting the project or attracting more uh contributors great uh so kibble is it's it's a complete package uh, and what's the definition <laughs> for uh, amazing your community help. Yeah, it sounds, well, sounds interesting. Yeah, well, we're at, we are we are actually looking at doing some um, a, a, a rewrite of it actually, um, mm -hmm. because now we found that um, people have asked for um, different levels of information, and, and so we're looking at we're looking for contributors. So if you're interested mm -hmm. in community metrics, then please join the Kibble uh, mailing list. And uh, if you go to kibble.apache.org you'll find the details there um so we're looking for people to help us with the with the rewrites we we are looking for ways that we can sort of restructure uh the information and make it more flexible uh and a lot easier uh for people to um configure it themselves and and use it themselves so it's not only about just apache um for example there's a we have uh, i also um do some work for uh, project jupiter and the Jupiter project has a Kibble instance up and, and running as well, where they're looking at uh, their metrics across their projects. So mm -hmm. you can see that, you know, they don't focus so much on the on, on the mailing lists. They mm -hmm. have a lot of um, work uh, in on the Git, uh, Git hub. So um, mm -hmm. we want to make sure that the, the Kibble is not only just tailored for Apache, but other open source um, right. projects or any, any other projects as well, it doesn't have to be open source, can also use it as a tool to understand what's happening. Right. And and definitely, as you mentioned, uh, if you are interested in community help, definitely the Apache Kibbles project you should look for. Mm -hmm. And and definitely you can find more details at kibble.apache.org. Uh, we'll put this link in the description section as well mm -hmm. for, your, for your handy reference. Cool. So, uh, so uh, I would like to know uh, what your thoughts on how one can increase the community engagement for foreign open source projects. Means what are the steps should an open source community take to increase the engagement in their open source project? Well, one of the things that we we can do, I mean, there's there's some uh, we have um, a lot of um, I suppose events. I mean, we there's a lot of groups that we can use so community development also has some resources that can help you um mm -hmm. so if you're interested in uh running an event to try mm -hmm. and you know a meetup or some sort of event to try and promote your project we can help mm -hmm. you um i know that um in the days before before uh, the pandemic when we were actually out and about we had a lot of regular events where we mm -hmm. encourage projects to come and um uh, and, and, and and promote themselves. We were a regular um, uh, participation at at FOSDEM, where we have so many visitors uh, on a on a regular basis. Um, right. And and just being able to have a slot to be able to promote your project is a way to try and hey pull pull new people in. Um, right. But also as well to try and um, understand you know what are the things what are the ways that your uh, community likes to. To, to communicate. I mean, mm -hmm. we have, uh, as well as the mailing list, I know that um, we have Slack, 
uh, available mm. now, Apache uh, at Apache, where and a lot of the projects are using that to try and help uh, communicate the different channels. Mm. We also have a lot of uh, are active on sort of social media with mm. uh, Twitter, with blogs. Um, mm. I think um, a lot of one of the things I've found um, with um, in community development um, and going mm. out and talking to people who are not yet part of open source communities is that a lot of them um, don't realize that um, they have something to contribute yeah. and they don't realize how simple and how easy it is to yeah. to engage with with the community so um, I think you know on your on the community pages that a lot of the the um, main pages the project pages they have you know how to contact us what we do um, mm -hmm. how to uh, contribute how to um, how to use the project and and we find that you know people move people start can maybe start out as users of the software or a project and mm -hmm. and then they realize hey actually you know maybe i do have something to contribute so the engagement is it there's different levels you mm -hmm. you can um you can uh, engage with your users to make sure that the mm -hmm. software is, you know, reacting to the problem, any issues or problems and, and things like that. And also as mm -hmm. well, you can also in, um, engage with uh, the community around, you know, um, managing, say, the, the roadmap of, of where mm -hmm. the project wants to go by being open and discussing that. So there's a lots of lots of different ways. And I think mm -hmm. each of the projects uh, are on a different stage of their journey and there are a lot mm -hmm. of tools and, and methods that they can use to to increase their, their community engagement if they need to mm -hmm. great so, so definitely this, these are really uh, important points man that uh, if you're welcoming uh, 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 if you're having a welcoming community for your open source projects for uh, for definitely the newcomers it, it definitely uh, give more space to them to to contribute and definitely if you can clearly communicate hey there are this number of ways in which you can contribute to our project definitely that that will be also also really helpful uh, and as you mentioned uh, there are various resources available uh, and uh, at, at the comdev and various apache projects can refer that to to get some more idea how they can increase the engagement mm -hmm. uh, so thanks for the detail <laughs> Cool. So, uh, so now I would like to know uh, uh, from you uh, about some highlighted tracks uh, which are <laughs> exciting for you and uh, uh, I'm sure exciting for our audience as well mm -hmm. uh, in our community track for ApacheCon. Wow. Okay. We have lots uh, of exciting stuff on, 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 the, on the track. I mean, I, I, I am so excited to have all of this, all of this stuff here. Um, uh, the, uh, ne let me mention a few. I'm going to have to read it because it's a, so I've got some long titles. So yeah. one of the ones that I'm really uh, looking forward to to listening to, it's called uh, Beyond the Bus Factor, Data Visualizations and Algorithms to Better Understand Apache Communities. And I think this is Martin Ellick. And you know, I mentioned the pony factor. They, they, right. they sometimes call it the bus factor as well. So what other things can we use to help us understand the community, so I'm really, really interested in in, try, in trying yeah. to understand to, to know what what uh, Martin is going to be talking about there. That's a, re a really good topic. Um, we also have a talk uh, from Chris Dutz, uh, at Apache T TAC, um, and mm -hmm. how you or here's how you can experience the next real conference. So TAC stands for uh, the Travel Assistance Committee, and mm -hmm. um, I think once again it's one of these things that people maybe not realize that it's there and how they can use it um, where, and, and this, this is um, where Apache actually pro, uh, provides some funding for people mm -hmm. to travel to conferences and events in exchange mm -hmm. for them helping out. So I think that's a really good way for yeah. people who really want to expect, experience um, Apache and learn about Apache um right. that, that i think that's a, a really good because myself uh i'm a, a tac, TAC re recipient as well I, I and that was one of the really big milestones for me of how mm -hmm. i got in more involved with apache and how i understood uh, a bit more about how it all works so i think that those those two are some really really uh good ones to to look at as well those are my highlights mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that, that's great and and definitely uh, th these are really interesting topics. So uh, cool. So
So thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing a lot of great information uh, around the community tracks at Apache Con. And uh, uh, I will, we will also like to thank our generous sponsors for Apache Con uh, to make this event happen. Uh, and thanks again, Sharon, for, for joining us. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the community tracks at Apache Con. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you very much, Swap Neil. It's been great being talking to you. Likewise, thank you. Thank you everyone for joining. For more information and to register for ApacheCon Home, visit apachecon.com.